actor Tom Cruise has come a long way from his childhood when he lived between Syracuse, New York and Canada. After his first major acting gig in Risky Business, he launched into Hollywood stardom and once his career was established, Tom started snagging luxury real estate in Los Angeles and abroad. His former properties range from a remote Colorado ranch to an estate in London, England, but where can we find the global star these days? Most recently, Tom can be found in a plush multi-million dollar penthouse a few blocks away from the Church of Scientology headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. Tom Cruise is an A-list actor, not to mention one of the highest paid in the world. His movies have grossed over $4 billion in North America and over $10 billion worldwide, not to mention he's amassed a net worth of $600 million. While Tom has lived in stunning mansions across the globe, these days, well, he's settled close to the Scientology headquarters in Florida which shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out the homes of Tom Cruise. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and we're kinda close, so if you're watching and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, you can hit me up over on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. It seems that back in 2016, Tom completed a real life Mission Impossible, finally selling his mega mansion in Beverly Hills for a whopping $40 million. His large estate was situated on over an acre of land in the posh celebrity coveted neighborhood, and inside it spans over 10,200 square feet of space. Mr. Cruz and his third ex-wife Katie Holmes snagged the spread in 2006 for just over $30 million, and the large mansion had multi-wings throughout with seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and a laundry list full of other amenities. The exterior of the abode was made of gray stone, and the home was built in 1937, located right off of Coldwater Canyon Drive. While the home was traditional, it had since been upgraded and renovated to offer all the modern amenities one would need. The grounds around Tom's former Beverly Hills home boasted everything from a tennis court to a large swimming pool and spa, an equally large fountain and a playground for the children. There was also a lighted tennis court with basketball hoops and a couple of guest houses on the property to accommodate family or staff. Aside from this crib, Tom hoisted his massive Rocky Mountain estate onto the market and finally sold it in May 2021 for $39.5 million. While he previously wanted to sell the place for 59 mil back in 2014, he never publicly listed it because maybe he wasn't quite ready to part with the stunning spread. Tom purchased this property back in 1994 and spent a handful of years and money building a custom retreat, which consists of a cabin style mansion, spanning over 9,800 square feet and a three bedroom guest house, all within 320 acres of sprawling land. Tom's Colorado property served as the setting for the actor's 2008 Oprah interview and where he and Katie Holmes shared the first photos of daughter Surrey in 2006. The property is surrounded on three sides by national forest land, but it isn't completely remote since it's only about seven miles from the heart of Telluride. It's protected by gated entrance and to get to the Cedar and Stone Mansion, you must travel up a mile long driveway lined with aspen trees. It's also worth mentioning that Tom had a helipad on the grounds just in case one wanted to fly right in instead of drive. Inside the mansion, it boasted seven beds, nine baths, and warm, charming interiors with a rustic vibe. The living room features beamed ceilings with cedar timbers, French windows that show off the tall mountain peaks, and a large stone fireplace. Elsewhere, there's another fireplace, making for some cozy nights here, especially in the colder months. The large dining and formal rooms make Tom's estate perfect for entertaining and hosting guests. Not to mention, the kitchen is also decked out in wood to match the rest of the home, while the luxury appliances here include three refrigerators. Other highlights inside this mansion include cozy nooks like a library and elsewhere a games room with pool table and fully equipped gym. If that's not enough, there's also an office for when you want to work from home and a spa for when it's finally time to relax. The main attraction of this mansion in the woods is certainly the surrounding outdoors. While Tom's property had traditional features like a sports court, there were also a ton of trails for hiking, snowmobiling, and more, some of which connect to the other public trails too. 
Tom's most recent home seems to be his penthouse in Clearwater, Florida. Located on the top two floors of a 10 story condominium, the actor left the glitz and glamour of Hollywood behind to move right beside the Scientology International Headquarters. In 2018, it was reported that Tom was renovating this penthouse, which was a new development at the time, built by one of the world's richest Scientologists, Moises Agami. Tom's sweet penthouse comes with features like a $500,000 private swimming pool and pool garden, million dollar movie theater, no joke, a wraparound terrace overlooking the city, and a brand new gym. The Skyview building is actually the largest and tallest building in Clearwater, so we know it's gotta be something special. Tom's unit spans a reported 1,253 square feet of space with two beds and two baths, and offers a contemporary and chic design throughout. More recently, it was said that Tom installed 100 spy and infrared cameras around the two-level penthouse, turning it into a fortress, which makes sense for the security-conscious star. The Top Gun actor even destroyed his luxury 39-foot infinity pool, hot tub and outdoor bar by covering it with a surrounding wall and roof, while the windows, well, they're hidden with a white film. We do know that interiors of Tom's unit boast an open plan layout with bright marble kitchen and other sun-filled common rooms. There's also reportedly a man cave and a games room, all of which Tom keeps tightly under wraps. When the place was under construction, a local bar owner was able to take a live video of the building around Tom's unit. It looked even more impressive from what we could see. It was full of skylights, high ceilings, and walls of glass to take in the stunning views of the water and city below. Not to mention Tom's penthouse boasts a secret passageway leading to a smaller condo on the second floor, which Tom also owns. Here, he stashes a flight simulator, the impressive home gym, and an office. Elsewhere, he also has a nine car parking garage with private car elevator. While Tom stays in the down low, some locals have claimed to see him here and there, even after all of his crazy security add-ons. One local said, I can see shadows in his apartment. Before this, I didn't see anything. Now there's major activity. There's definitely movement. People have also seen him in town with his minions. Very interesting. Tom is only two blocks from the Scientology headquarters, so we can bet he's staying busy. It's also rumored that he owns three further units in this building for family members, including for his children that he shares with ex Nicole Kidman, while his sisters also have apartments here. Well, now we've taken a look at a few of Tom Cruise's properties past and present, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end. Out of those three homes, which was the most your style? His former Grand Beverly Hills mansion, his Colorado ranch in the Snowy Mountains, or his current modern Florida penthouse. I'm gonna go with the Colorado home myself. I love the natural and rustic vibes, and honestly, I also like the mountain. I think getting a full glimpse of Tom's current home is a mission impossible, but we've seen a little bit and have some of the details, so you get the idea. I think the most important takeaway is that he ditched Hollywood to live full time near the home of Scientology. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Tom's homes down in the comments. John Travolta is an actor who rose to fame during the 1970s, first appearing on a sitcom Welcome Back Coder, and then landing roles in a handful of box office hit films, including Saturday Night Fever and Grease. While John's showbiz career hit a slight decline in the 80s, he made a comeback in the 90s with his role in Pulp Fiction, my personal favorite, and then went on to star in many more movies over the years. Aside from his long spanning career in Hollywood, John is also a private pilot, reportedly owning four to five aircraft. While the actor has maintained an impressive array of mansions across America, his longtime home is his place on the residential air park Jumbo Lair Aviation Estates in Florida. And he and his late wife, actress Kelly Preston, were among the first residents of the community, which gives homeowners their own fly in and fly out access. Sadly, his wife Kelly passed away recently in 2020 after battling breast cancer. John still lives there to this day. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today, looking at the homes of John Travolta. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video.
In summer 2021, John Travolta offloaded one of his mega properties, this one being a waterfront retreat in Clearwater, Florida for $4 million. While it might sound like an uncommon location, this home sat right down the street from the Church of Scientology's flag building, which was perfect for one of the religion's most famed members like John. And of course, he isn't the only celebrity to own property in Clearwater, with fellow Scientologists like Tom Cruise and Kirstie Alley, among others, having home here. After the loss of his wife Kelly, John decided to also let go of his residence here, making a million more on the sale considering he bought it over four years prior for $3 million. The spread sat on just under three acres of land, all of which was protected by a high wall, secure entry gates, and tropical greenery. While past the gates and driveway, you'll arrive at the multi-level main house, which boasted a flat roof and pops of orange. Built in 1988, John's former contemporary home had a floor plan with over 6,100 square feet of space, along with five bedrooms and 5.5 baths sprinkled throughout. Of course, the home had been immensely updated and renovated to give it the modern look it has today, and its design has expensive finishes like French oak flooring, handcrafted plaster walls, slate floor tiles, and much more. Past the sunny entryway and down a few steps, the home offered a combo living and dining area with a soaring double height ceiling and walls of glass. Here, there was also an impressive concrete fireplace on one wall and stairs leading to the upper level. The contemporary kitchen situated next to the main living living area offered a large L-shaped snack bar, laminated cabinets from Germany, and a spacious breakfast nook. This space opens to the outside through glass doors, while there's also a second and more cozy family room nearby. John and Kelly's former master suite here had the best spot in the house on the top level, with a private balcony that offered amazing views, as well as a walk-in closet and spa-inspired modern ensuite bath. Each of the guest rooms in the house were also ensuite and had their very own unobstructed view of the water. Outside, the large deck off of the home had canvas shades to make for comfortable outdoor dining and relaxing. The grounds also had multiple terraces, a stunning swimming pool, and a private dock. Aside from the main house, the property further boasted a poolside cabana that could act as an art studio. In 2021, John also listed another one of his getaway homes, this one located in Owlsboro, Maine, but according to records, it hasn't yet sold. Listed at $5 million, this massive spread has served as the Travolta's family's beloved vacation home on the island of Islesboro, which can only be exclusively accessed by ferry. John first visited this island over three decades ago with his Scientologist and actress pal Kirstie Alley, who has her own vacation home here. John and Kelly, who were newlyweds at the time, fell in love with this 48-acre waterfront property and bought it in 1991. This hotel-sized mansion is perfectly secluded and situated at the end of a gravel driveway surrounded by trees. It was built back in 1904 for a prominent banking family by architects Body and stern, and inside it boasts 42 rooms with a colorful and cozy design scheme that suits the country mansion on the coast. Inside, the mansion covers a whopping 10,830 square feet of space with an unheard of 20 bedrooms and 7.5 baths throughout. It's full of classic features like rustic stone fireplaces, gilded fixtures, Tudor revival windows, and more. Each room of the home has linen drapings and velvet upholstery, while many Many of the furnishings came with the vintage mansion. In the 90s, John revealed to Architectural Digest, the house was already full of English antiques, 30% of which we refurbished and still use. The mansion's entry feels like a hotel lobby with some lounge areas and a bar, and nearby there's a formal living room with fireplace and large dining room with equally large table. Other highlights of the estate include a second level sunroom, which is one of two in the home, that offers amazing views, a ton of floral patterns and various pastel colors throughout. This sunny country kitchen has chef-grade appliances and butcher block counters, while it also boasts a huge pantry. Within the many, many bedrooms, there's still a stunning master suite with John and Kelly shared for many memorable years. This space had a fireplace, private porch, and vintage-style ensuite of its own. 14 of the guest bedrooms are located on the second level, but the third level was transformed into a fantasy children's wing. This impressive part of the mansion would be any kid's dream, boasting a schoolroom, library, a diner, a theater with its own stage, and 
four themed bedrooms, two of which are said to be a princess room and another a Peter Pan room. John and Kelly no doubt adored this property and put all the work into changing the mansion from its formerly dark interiors to a bright and cheery ambiance. Outside, the many acres offer everything from a swimming pool to private beach access. It also boasts a deep water dock on Sabbath Day Harbor, plenty of forest trails, and rolling lawns. While John may be offloading that home, maybe because it holds too many family memories and he doesn't need that massive space anymore, he still splits his time between two impressive mansions. In 2019, the couple decided to buy a Mediterranean-style villa mansion in the exclusive Calabasas area of LA for just under $2.7 million. Located in a guard-gated community on a half-acre plot of land, this home was built in the 90s and offers over 7,500 square feet of space with six beds and six baths over two levels. The property also comes with amazing views across the canyon and mountains and interior features like open-plan living areas, high ceilings, and four fireplaces. John and his family have spent much of lockdown at the home too, even sharing a pic on Instagram last year with his new puppy Jinx in videos with his kids. The front of the villa offers a courtyard entry with a stunning three-tiered water fountain, and inside there's a double-height rotunda as well as a skylight over top the sweeping staircase. Some of the airy spaces inside of the home included a double height living room with wall of windows and a fireplace, a formal dining room, and a top of the line gourmet kitchen. Elsewhere, there was a family room with fireplace, wine closet and bar, as well as a library with handmade wood bookshelves lining the walls and second floor gallery. Many of the beautiful rooms in the home come with vaulted ceilings and natural wood beams, which are super high for an open air feel. The main floor even has an office space as well as a mirror wall gym. Outside, John has access to a handful of living and entertaining spaces too, like the shaded patio with outdoor fireplace, barbecue station and dining terrace, and an infinity edge pool and spa. Sadly, there's no airplane parking at this mansion, but that's where John's final home comes in handy. Last but most definitely not least, John keeps his sprawling airport style main residence at the exclusive Jumbo Lair fly-in community near Ocala, Florida, in the small town of Anthony. And it's here he also keeps his collection of planes right in his yard. In 2001, John and Kelly forked out $3.5 million for this 9.5 acre spread and said, out to build their mid-century style concrete and glass dream home here, which spans about 7,000 square feet of space along with six bedrooms. There is even a 6,500 square foot garage that boasts eight efficiency apartments inside. John and Kelly showed off the luxurious estate way back in 2004 to Architectural Digest, which is any pilot or airplane lover's dream. The custom design mansion is mainly white throughout with thick concrete walls, towering columns and walls of glass. The highlight of the interior spaces has got to be the great room which boasts a curved wall of double height windows overlooking the tarmac out back. Here there are contemporary chairs and low sofas with modern pops of blues and greens and it almost looks like a vintage travel lounge. There's also a formal dining room with an art deco style and a massive mural on one wall. Travolta was always into airplanes and he got his pilot's license by age 22. We can see his love of aviation present in the mansion's design, almost like you're stepping into the 1960s Pan Am era. There's also a stunning entrance hall with a custom floor design and multiple model airplanes as well as two kitchens, one for serious cooking and one for more casual affairs, creating three separate dining areas that, according to Travolta, they're like those in hotels. Among the many features in the modern mansion, there's also a bed and breakfast style quarters and multiple suites for guests to relax. Of course, the best part for Travolta about this estate has got to be the outdoor features, like the 7,500 foot runway that extends right up to his back door, as well as two airplane parking pavilions and a separate lighted grass runway. His personal airport has more than enough room to store his collection of aircraft too, which include a USA Air Boeing 707, Boeing 707-138, Bombardier Challenger, and more. It's said that he currently owns four to five planes. When he's not up in the air, Travolta can enjoy the other features of his home, like the resort-style pool with hot tub out back. It even boasts a slide, patio space, and a dance floor with custom stonework. 
Another one of his favorite spots on the property is the cabana with a bar that looks like an airport lounge and overlooks all of the action. Looking at a handful of John Travolta's massive properties, we can see that he and his late wife Kelly went above and beyond to craft the ultimate real estate portfolio, which included a massive fairy tale like property in Maine, a Calabasas villa estate, as well as the iconic Florida mansion where Travolta has his very own airport. Well, that's gonna bring this house tour to an end. Let me know what you thought of his homes down in the comments, as well as who we should feature next. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.